Good day, everyone. Thank you for joining me today. Our topic is gene expression and protein synthesis, which are fundamental concepts in molecular biology. We'll explore how genetic information is transferred from DNA to functional proteins. Let's dive into the key processes involved. To give you an idea of what we will cover today, here's an overview of our topics. We'll start with the central dogma of molecular biology, and then move on to the processes of transcription and translation. We'll also discuss RNA processing in eukaryotes, gene regulation, and the impact of mutations. By the end, you should have a solid understanding of how genetic information translates into the proteins that drive cellular functions. The central dogma of molecular biology outlines the flow of genetic information in cells. It describes how DNA is transcribed into RNA, which is then translated into proteins. This process is fundamental to all living organisms and ensures that the genetic information encoded in our DNA is used to produce the proteins necessary for life. As shown in the diagram, the sequence of this flow is DNA-RNA protein. Transcription is the first step in gene expression. During transcription, a segment of DNA is copied into mRNA by the enzyme RNA polymerase. This process takes place in the nucleus of eukaryotic cells. The key steps are initiation, elongation, and termination, which collectively ensure that the genetic code is accurately transferred to mRNA, ready for the next step in protein synthesis. Let's break down the steps of transcription. Initiation begins when RNA polymerase binds to the promoter region of the DNA. During elongation, RNA polymerase moves along the DNA strand, adding complementary RNA nucleotides. Finally, termination occurs when RNA polymerase reaches a stop sequence, releasing the newly formed mRNA strand. This mRNA will then move from the nucleus to the cytoplasm for translation. In eukaryotes, the initial mRNA transcript, called pre-mRNA, undergoes several modifications before it can be translated. These include the addition of a 5-foot cap, a poly-A tail, and splicing to remove non-coding introns while joining coding exons. These modifications protect the mRNA and prepare it for translation, ensuring it can be efficiently translated into a protein. Translation is the process by which mRNA is used as a template to synthesize proteins. This occurs in the cytoplasm on ribosomes. During translation, mRNA sequence of codons is read by the ribosome, and tRNA molecules bring the appropriate amino acids. The ribosome assembles these amino acids into a polypeptide chain, which folds into a functional protein. The translation process consists of three main stages, initiation, elongation, and termination. During initiation, the ribosome assembles around the mRNA and the start codon is recognized. In elongation, tRNA molecules bring amino acids that are added to the growing polypeptide chain. Termination occurs when a stop codon is encountered, signaling the end of protein synthesis and release of the completed protein. The genetic code consists of codons, which are three nucleotide sequences on mRNA that specify particular amino acids. The start codon, August, initiates protein synthesis and codes for methionine. Stop codons signal the end of translation. This code is nearly universal across all organisms, reflecting its fundamental role in biology. Gene regulation is crucial for controlling when and how genes are expressed. It involves various mechanisms, including transcription factors that enhance or suppress gene expression and epigenetic modifications such as DNA methylation and histone modification. Effective gene regulation ensures that cells produce the right proteins at the right times, maintaining cellular functions and adapting to environmental changes. Mutations are changes in the DNA sequence that can affect gene expression and protein synthesis. They can be classified into several types, including point mutations and frameshift mutations. These mutations can lead to a range of outcomes from benign to disease-causing, depending on how they alter the protein's structure and function. Let's recap the key points we've covered today. Gene expression involves the transcription of DNA into mRNA and the translation of mRNA into proteins. RNA processing in eukaryotes modifies mRNA before translation. 
Translation synthesizes proteins, and gene regulation controls this process. Mutations can impact protein function and overall cellular health. Now, let's take a moment to test your understanding. I have a couple of questions for you. What role does tRNA play in translation? How does a frameshift mutation affect protein synthesis? Feel free to discuss these questions with your peers or ask for clarification. In conclusion, gene expression and protein synthesis are vital processes that enable cells to produce the proteins necessary for life. Understanding these processes provides insight into how genetic information drives cellular functions and how disruptions can lead to diseases. Thank you for your attention and participation today. We have now reached the Q&A section. If you have any questions or need further clarification on any of the topics we discussed, please feel free to ask. I'm here to help.